I'm Quentin Grafton. I'm a professor here at Economics at uh, Crawford School of Economics and Government at the Australian National University. And I do a number of different things, but I'm, my focus at the moment is in water, water research and knowledge transfer. And I'd like to be able to tell you about some of the things that we're doing uh, right now, April 2010, in terms of water. One of the big events that's going to happen in the next uh, few days, or whenever you download this, is the UNESCO chair. And so what UNESCO does is it creates these chairs. They're chairs in a variety of different disciplines and themes, and uh, one of the areas that they create chairs in is the area of water. And so UNESCO, the United Nations, is trying to develop knowledge transfer as well as knowledge creation. And what they're trying to do with the UNESCO chair with us here at the Australian National University is uh, establish a chair in water economics and transboundary water governance. So that's exactly what's going to happen on the 15th of April. Uh, the Honourable Bob McMullen, the Parliamentary Secretary for International Development, will launch the chair officially for us. But in some sense, the chair is, is already up and, uh, up and running right now. And so what is a chair? Well, you know, it's, I'm sitting on a chair. <laughs> it's, it's more than that. A chair is a, is a network. It's about a network of people who are working together. So there's a network here at the Australian National University, and there's a network of people overseas. Uh, there's a network of people in China, and in particular, there's a network of people in Southern Africa. And so what we're going to try and deliver with this chair is water economics, transboundary water governance, primarily in Southern Africa. And why Southern Africa or why Africa was because Africa needs the attention the most. Most people are aware of the difficulties that Africa has had in the last two to three decades in terms of growth and development. And so what we're trying to help is on the, on the waterfront. And how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to ask our partners the sorts of things that they need. We obviously had a pretty good idea before we established the chair, but what we're going to do is, to, uh, is, is visit, get from them the, the information that we need, and then we'll respond to it. And so the number of things that are already underway is a uh, capacity building, uh, the term that's commonly used, but it's basically about knowledge interaction. And so we're going to have uh, courses delivered into Africa. Um, I'll personally deliver some of them. Uh, we may also deliver them through the through, uh, Global Development Learning Network, where you simultaneously lecture and actually get feedback from students overseas. So it's a, a, a video conferencing type uh, system, but it's, it's a bit more sophisticated than that. We're also going to have students uh, coming to, to Australia. We're trying to work on that in terms of getting scholarships available for them. And we're also going to try and develop uh, knowledge as well. So there's a number of similarities between Southern Africa and Australia, and, this, and one of the similarities is the climate. It's a very dry climate. It's an arid, semi-arid climate in most of Southern Africa, and they have this climate variability that we also have in most of Australia. And so we can draw on some of their insights and knowledge and water planning in terms of how you allocate water and those sorts of uh, extremes and they can perhaps draw on the knowledge and uh, learnings that we've developed here in Australia in particular in the Murray-Darling Basin. So that's that's the intention and uh, we're about to get underway and it's an exciting period for, for us here at the uh, at the Crawford School and the Australian National University. I'll be the, um, the nominated chairholder but uh, there's a whole bunch of people involved. Um, I have colleagues, Daniel Connell, who works with me, uh, Karen Hussey, uh, and, and many others uh, at the Australian National uh, University Water Initiative. We have about 60-odd researchers and various other people who, uh, who collaborate with us, as well as our network overseas uh, in Africa, China, and uh, Sri Lanka, and the uh, United Kingdom, United States, and, and, and other places. Personally, it's a, it, well, it means a, a lot of challenge. <laughs> so I'm heading off uh, in a four weeks time to, 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 to visit uh, Southern Africa to, to meet with the, the people that we'll be working with. And um, I'm looking forward to it. So it's a, a bit of a deviation in some sense of what I've been doing. Uh, I, I'm an academic, I do lots of research. So in addition to that, those sorts of activities as a UNESCO chair, I'll be doing a lot more coordination, a lot more networking, a lot more leadership and roles in that sense in terms of helping others move forward in, in their own research and their knowledge transfer. So it's a, it's a guiding, mentoring, leadership type role. It's, it's a supportive role. It's providing support to, to others. And so it's, it's something different, it's something challenging, but more importantly, it's, uh, I'm, I'm hoping to make a difference along with everyone else. So there's a lot of, lot of challenges in Africa, and uh, particularly in terms of water, 
water quality, uh, water sanitation uh, issues, and, and then also in terms of the conflicts between water for the environment, uh, water for diversions, for irrigation, for, for other purposes. There are a whole mix of difficult issues, political, economic, social, as well as the scientific uh, aspects of those problems.